Hello. Lunatic Asylum. Lunatic Asylum. Welcome to the asylum. We got a great topic today. Froggy's going to go ahead and introduce the topic. And we're going to go ahead and give our thoughts and everything else. And if you're down with us, it's good. If you ain't down with OPP, then you don't know me. You can't see me. Go ahead, darling. We're going to talk about stalkers and trolls on YouTube. And there is a difference between the two. Right. A troll will come in and they'll just say things to irritate you. Yeah, I get at them all the time. I like trolls. I like trolls. You ever see a damn troll? He's like the size of like a little fucking mini me and shit. And listen, they get up to the waist and you know what's below the waist. And that's why I say treat a troll like a troll. And but but sometimes all bullshit aside. All bullshit aside, Lunatic Dad will tell you this. Dad's had trolls and everything in his time up on the channel. And guess what? I've re, re, reincarnated their asses and everything to actually be fans of Lunatic Dad and everything else. Sometimes they, there is no hope for a troll. But well, there is a good troll and there's a bad troll. Good trolls are the ones that will come to your channel and everything else. And they want a lot of attention, but they're not belligerent and they're not... To the point of trying to put you down or the people in your chat ain't using abusive language and everything else to them. Right. Them are the good trolls. Remember, trolling is not always necessarily a bad thing up on YouTube. There's a lot of good things about trolling too. Because remember, a troll isn't just one person, okay? They know multiple people and everything else that they might say go into your channel and everything else. But treat them as if you would treat just regular or a subscriber and everything else. You could basically turn a troll into actual fan if you do it the right way. And if you talk to them like they're a human being. Well, they're a troll. They're not a fucking human being. But we could try to treat them like a regular. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> Guys, listen. Froggy's got some thoughts on this and everything else because she's going to give you a couple stories about with the trolls and the, the reason why she left YouTube the first time and everything for a couple years and everything else where she didn't want to go live. She didn't want to do certain things. And that's only because she allowed the trolls and the stalkers and everything else to be able to change who she, what she wanted to give you guys and what she wanted to go ahead and put out there on social medias that could help people and you could enjoy your content and everything else. But she got intimidated and everything else, and she was tired of all the headaches and everything else, so she pulled away. But, 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 see, that was Froggy Love, but the Actually, lunatic that Froggy. Was ACJS. Well, see, multiple fucking names. See, I told you she's got more than one personality. I do know that channel Actually, too. Actually, it's my kids' four, na uh, four initials, alphabetically, alphabetically youngest to oldest. Anime Charles Jordan Shanto. See, see, and uh, and look at that. Now she's a fucking lunatic, fucking froggy, you know and everything what else. You're gonna get. You just honestly, like, I just went to a flea market. You never know what you're gonna get with me. Yeah, you don't know. Trust me, trust me. Lunatic Dad doesn't even know what the hell the lunatic frog does. Because remember, the fucking lunatic frog got many different damn ribbits to her. So what she's gonna it? just the ribbit, ribbit, fucking tibbit, tibbit. Girl, go ahead and. Yeah, let it know <coughs> what happened when you left freaking uh, YouTube for a while and everything else. What occurred and everything else. And how would advice would you give to other YouTubers that are experiencing the same thing and thinking about leaving? Tell them the do's and don'ts of what you could have done differently and not allowed that to get so to the point to where it shut you down and you let right. them win back then. Well, Go ahead. Okay, so I had friends. We'll put them friends okay that i helped out majorly we got mm -hmm. one a job he decided he couldn't work um they lived in my house a couple people lived in my backyard um we paid for their cigarettes we put gas in their vehicle we like really helped them out um, even after they moved, we were bringing a hundred dollars a month worth of food to them, which if you want to think about that, a hundred dollars worth of food, this was like three, four years ago where like a hundred dollars worth of meat, they were getting ribs, racks of ribs, uh, 
big packages of hamburger because they only was like 20 some bucks for 10 pounds um and this wasn't like you know store bought it was like uh fuck. you know when you go back to the deli area and mm -hmm. they have the meat department it was from there mm -hmm. straight from the almost straight from the butcher shop like they had to cut all the stuff and everything and I was paying for that out of my pocket. Um, I don't know if people can go in the Wayback Machine, but there is a video where I gave them $40 to go get their daughter a special diet food because her daughter couldn't have certain foods. Um, but they lived in my house. Didn't pay no bills. Uh, the kids did clean because I, like I said, I have a, I have a rule. You eat here, you sleep here, you work here. I don't care who's buying the food. You eat here, you sleep here, you work here. Mm -hmm. I found out they were telling everybody that they had to pay all my bills. I refused to pay all my bills. Uh, mm. that their kids had to clean everything. That, uh, uh, Roy was verbally abusive towards their kids, which ain't even true because... The only time Roy did yell was when one of their children threatened to burn down my house. Almost burnt down my house. Two mm -hmm. separate occasions. <clears throat> threatened to kill everybody in my family. Mm. And their mother did nothing. Their mother literally said, well, maybe you should stop being an asshole. So I'm going to ask you this question. What do you feel went through all that ordeal and everything else? What strong advice would you give to any YouTubers out there that want to go ahead and help out fellow YouTubers or whatever the case may be, bringing them into your home and you have do no it. idea? Don't do it. Don't. That was dad's exact thing. Don't is that do you, it because you don't know why. what's coming into your house. Um, I had shit stolen from me constantly, left and right. Um, we had damages to our house done. Mm -hmm. They'll lie. And say, oh, well, we pay all the bills. We do all, we have to buy all the food, all of this. Now, remember, this is the point in time where Roy was on working on a farm. He was working 18 hours, up to 18 hours. We'll put up to 18 hours a day on a farm. He was getting up at 4 a.m., going to work, and coming home. All he wanted to do was sleep. All he wanted to do was rest. Well understood. And he couldn't, um... He worked seven days a week. Farm boys don't get a day off. Nope. And he could never get rest in his house. How um, did it? How did it also affect your your own family with your children and with Roy and you and everything else when all this was occurring and everything else? Did it start putting a stress within your own relationship between your family and and Roy and everything else? And when when was the telling time where you had to say get the fuck out? forever uh it really affected my son because their daughters would constantly yell argue scream and it would get to the point that my son was because beforehand we we don't yell like we'll yell once in a great while at our son but we really don't yell um or argue roy and i don't and we were getting in arguments we were yelling and screaming at each other um, it got to the point where I literally looked at Roy and said, you're paying for my trip to Minnesota. And I went to go visit my grandma for a weekend. And that's when Roy knew that it was time for them to get out because they acted like they were in my house. Like I was a guest in my house. A guest in your own home. Hmm. Right. Hmm. That's fucked up and right there. they will turn around and tell everybody that it wasn't that way they paid all the bills a matter of fact i have friend friends that they used to talk to that they'll t they're like why are you having them pay all your bills and it's like they're not literally all the money for my bills are coming out of my paycheck now remember at this point in time i was still paying uh uh payments on my house mm -hmm. so I had to go put the money in the bank for the, my payments on my house. I had to pay all my electric, gas, water, the whole nine yards. 
I had to pay that. Nobody else did. Um, they did help with food, but rightfully should they should right they should they they, they told do everybody you a favor. that i would eat six hundred dollars worth of food now I remind you they were on food stamps i would ask to eat and i only ate once a day mm -hmm. but they were telling everybody that it was our kids or okay. it was my kid and me that ate all the time but yet their daughter would come up with six plates worth of food Correct. And eat it. Now, again, this is a teaching mechanism that we're using other people and everything else to let people know the I difference between a stalker and everything else. No, it, it, and it shouldn't be because this is a teaching video of knowing what to do and what not to do when these type of things happen and everything else. Now, that that is Lunatic Froggy sharing her personal uh, experiences on with having people that are either stalkers or just trolls or whatever the case may be. In, in Lunatic Froggy's case, this even got a little bit deeper because it came into her, into her home and everything else. Number one, never, ever, ever, ever uh, let anybody live with you in your home, first off, because you are inviting something that you have no idea. You don't know their past. You don't know. They can tell you they love you. They can tell you on private calls that they love you. They care about you and everything else. At the bottom line, and even Lunatic Dad is that way himself. Dad himself, like I said, I love a breakfast. I love Froggy and everything else. If they came to me and said, hey, I need a place to live and everything else, I would outright look them in the face and be honest and say, hell no. And, and the only reason why is because this is my sanctity. This is my home. This is everything else. You need help from me, I'll help you out. But if you are asking, can I live with your family and everything else? No, because you just don't know. You just don't know. Everybody can put up a beautiful face up on, up on these YouTubes or videos or whatever. You can put up one face. But behind closed doors, it can be a totally different story and everything else. Strong advice. Do not let anybody stay with you, no matter what. You, your intentions may be good. Your heart may be good. But as Lunatic Froggy has just explained, it was also a living fucking nightmare as well. And that's something in which has pushed her away from YouTube for multiple years and everything else. Because well, she didn't want it. wasn't even just them living with me and moving out. I've had people stay with me and move out. It, that's nothing. When you lie... And say that I don't pay shit. I didn't pay my own bills. I always pay my bills. When you lie and say that I ate all your food when it was your own children that ate all your food, I get mad. When it affects my son's mental health, knowing he has a mental disorder, and telling me that my son should grow the fuck up, maybe your kids should grow the fuck up at that point in time because they were all older than he was. But at the same time, people who may be watching this and everything else would go ahead and flip it the other way on you and say, why would you allow any stranger or whatever, regardless, to come into your home and everything else to take a chance when you don't know the set in individuals personally and everything else, that you allow the family or whatever that might be struggling or whatever to come into your home. And basically, it's an invasion of your privacy and everything else. Some people will go ahead and put that question back to you and say that you allowed it to happen because you allowed a stranger to come into your home, even though your heart was in the right place. Right, exactly. And that, that was my issue, was I allowed somebody who... Broggy is easily manipulated. 100%. Broggy is 100% easily manipulated um, before they moved up here. A matter of fact, they were, I went down to go get them so we could do a birthday stream. And then I was going to bring them back, but instead, instead they decided to move up here. Again, that that is your personal experiences and everything else, people that she's trying to let you know and everything else. We will be covering other stuff that that you will have to go ahead and you know things to look out for, certain signs and everything. Not through a Begging personal for experience. Money. Just if you ever hear somebody constantly complaining about money on live stream. Now, I do. I say I'm a broke hole. I can't afford this. You'll hear me fuck around with Mike and be like, I want treats. I want snacks. Buy me snacks. You'll hear me say this. Do I fucking mean it? No. Do I fucking expect anybody to send me money? 
Hell fucking no. Ask that. I won't even ask him for money. I would rather go count change to get what I need than to fucking borrow money. Right. And and now and now people also understand, like I said, with trolls and everything else. But now it it, it what makes it worse is that when someone is well constantly here's another sign to you people, okay? Please, please take this as gospel. I know what I'm talking about. When someone comes into your chat and they're constantly saying, I love you, you're the greatest, they da, 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 da. that is typical troll one oh one. Or okay. stalker one oh one. True. They kind of go hand in hand. They do. They do. And but if, if if you got a stalking troll, like I know where you live, I know where you work, like that's outside of YouTube, you should not know none of that shit. Accurately. And just like on Lunatic Dad's channel himself. And everything else. There are times in which the three letters of my street address is on on a video, whatever. Okay? Now, Dad had to, you know, deal with certain things and everything else. And But the point Dad's trying to make is that there are people that have other alternative motives and everything else. I'm sorry, but again, number one. When they kissing up to you and they're, and they're, and they're just constantly saying you're the greatest thing to the world and everything else, run for fucking high heaven from people like that and everything else. I mean, like like uh, me and a Brexit. A Brexit will mess around. I'm the man, the myth, the legend, and everything else. That's all unfun. Me and him, he bought and the, and the behind story to that is is that he gave me a beautiful big ass mug that says that and everything else. Got number love for that man and his family. Trust me and Missy and, and the whole nine yards. But that's not a troll okay no but but when you got a troll and and a stalker and everything else believe me you got to be careful on these social medias because you don't know women women please be careful don't be showing uh you know so much skin and everything else because believe it or not there are so many there's called sexual predators and everything else on social medias believe me when i tell you this Froggy, Lunatic Froggy probably doesn't even know it. But people that may go ahead and watch a live stream she does or whatever the case may be. And she's wearing a tank top or whatever the case may be. I guarantee you at some point in time, there was a sexual predator watching her. Right. Believe and me. That's I know normally, that makes you feel uneasy. That's but why normally that. you see from like here up. Mm -hmm. Like that's what you're going to get. And, and be, I always make the joke, I'm glad I'm... I'm not the prettiest of the bunch, or I'm glad I'm not the skinny of the skinniest of the bunch because there. I are think you're hot as fuck, but okay. Anyway, there are a lot of people out there that will fantasize and do bad things. Well, let me tell you, when you're not the prettiest and you're not the skinniest, it's hard to kidnap, and less people are more attracted to you. Not saying that everybody, you're not attractive. What I'm saying is less people are attracted to you. But when you have a great personality, that overtrumps everything. And people do take a soft-hearted person like me that really wants to help people out for granted. Especially on the YouTubes. And I will tell you far as lunatic froggy my daughter and she knows i love her to death yes she is very easily manipulated and everything else now does you know dad himself will look out for her and everything else and if i see something that that i think is just weird or not right or whatever she knows i'm the type of person privately i will let her know or oh, whatever the hell i'm seeing or whatever the case may be and the reason why i do that is because i love her and everything else but again and that's when why you, nobody will ever know where I'm at, when I'm at, and what I'm doing except for dad. If you see me out and about, I probably already done did the video, and I'm just coming back for more. Right. But again, and, you're never going to know what I'm doing at that point in time. And guys, again, stalkers are the most dangerous on YouTube. Like I said, there's a big difference between a troll and a stalker and everything else. But then you got what I call at-home stalkers and everything else. They're trying to go ahead and get as much personal information from you. 
Why? Not to stalk you. You got to be careful because what if they can get your address, they can get your driver's license, they can get this, they can get your identity, people, and everything yep. else. It's all tied into everything because on social medias, identity theft is huge. Is fucking huge. And you've got to protect certain personal information. Strong advice to all YouTubers and everything else. Don't be so free willy to let everybody know your personal life, your personal stuff, and everything else. Because you may have five or six that you're real close with that you know are good. But maybe that's all it takes is that one to wreck your life. Protect your privacy. Privacy is a number one when you're out on these social medias and everything else. Please be careful who you share personal information with, who you share channels with, who you share anything with, because what may be on the surface may be a deviant and a bad purpose on the back end that you can't see. Because unless you're right there with that person, you have no idea. People will turn on you in an instant if it's to they benefit will. themselves. They will. Uh, that's part of the reason I took such a long break because I will admit, I went off on a child. Should I have gone off on a child? No. Should that a child have been able to say what he said to me? No. Did I lose my head? Yes. Was I young, dumb, and stupid? Yeah. It was like five years ago. Four years ago, I think. And now, my, mind you, Froggy's young lady, okay? She's I'm not only like, 39 years old. Exactly. So now you're saying a 34 year old that didn't bother, you know, that that lost her head a little bit and right. everything else. Because but she's a, I was called a stupid dumb bitch. I was told to go kill myself. I was told I was a worthless piece of shit and my kids would be better off if I was dead. Mm -hmm. Not good. Not good. And the people who I thought were my friends was laughing. Yeah. And agreeing with them. Mm. Now, now that that's a harsh lesson to learn, right? That's a harsh lesson right. to learn for that's people that, that quit, you claim were close to you. That's why I quit YouTube and I quit Twitch because of these people. What exactly. they did to me. Exactly. And they think they didn't do nothing wrong. Well, usually people who do those type of acts and everything else will not ever have self-accountability. That is, this is 101. And as I said, I I knew of Froggy, okay, Lunatic Froggy and everything else before she was Froggy Love. I mean, she changed her damn names like she changed her damn underwear. I would make people, it's not my fault. But the point, three times. Now, don't forget that she went through some hell and everything else, but she came back out on the other side of it. Some people on social medias never get that opportunity to come back out on that other side. And everything else and them are the ones that the people who've done bad things to them and everything else should be ashamed of themselves right you really should be ashamed of yourself if i wasn't the person that was if i wasn't as strong as i was and i didn't have the friends i had and have people joker can testify that they did this to me um mm -hmm. but uh if I didn't have those friends, if I didn't have Cody, Abraxas, Hateful Joker, I probably would have killed myself. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, when I was having a panic attack in front of my daughter's friend's house, I was debating on how fast it would take me to crash into a car for me to kill myself because of them. Mm -hmm. See, something like that. Everybody who's watching this video and everything else understand words do matter when people do certain things really, really affect, affect other people and everything else. Froggy just got done admitting on the simulcast that she was thinking about taking her own life. That is some very, very deep and soulful letting you guys know how bad it truly can get. And everything else. When you and get to the point that you're willing to take your own life because of somebody's stupid words, remember, there are people that love you. You don't have to have those people in your life. If they're abusive and toxic, walk <clears throat> away from them. Exactly. Exactly. And again, there are 
certain kind of trolls and certain kind of stalkers and everything else. But what Lunatic Froggy is saying, it went beyond stalkers and trolls and everything else. It went beyond that because, remember, the number one thing for a stalker or a troll is to make your life miserable. If it's a bad troll, by the way, I want to reiterate that is that if these type of people are not, they will not feel successful until they see you're miserable. Why? Because their lives are fucking miserable. So remember, they want to have, hey, we're all one big, happy, miserable fucking family. If I can't be happy, I damn well want to make you want to happy and everything else. And that's the purpose of them up on these social medias and everything else. But you've got to be damn careful. You've got to be damn careful. Don't be damn gullible type person that thinking that everybody's your friend no one will turn on you everybody's gonna help you and everything else because as i've said it over and over again i'll say it a million fucking times dad only has a very few select people that he allows into his life and everything else and trust me i did my research on you lunatic froggy okay when we started when we're always together and i've done everything i needed to do to and it's not that i doubted you or anything it's that dad has to, to protect now, my yes. wife, my children, my family, and everything else. I do my due diligence when it comes to certain things and everything on these social medias. And that's because of the trolls and stalkers and everything else. Sometimes, again, and do let me your guess, due you diligence. didn't find much, did you, Dad? No, I didn't actually find nothing. So you were cleaning as a, as a daisy. You know and everything why you else. won't find nothing? Because I keep my nose clean. You might have found where I fucking snapped on that child. But <clears throat> if you listen to the way that child degraded me mm -hmm. and fucking my friends laughing at me. Yeah. I get it. I get it. But again, there's a difference between losing your head because you were so hurt and everything else there's a big difference between that and having the intent remember intent is to me everything because if your intent is actually to do damage and to hurt somebody's reputation and to hurt somebody to the point to where they feel like it's not even worth living now <clears throat> that has went too deep went way too far and everything else and like i said people listen to what lunatic froggy is telling you because these the, the stuff that she imagined, if she would have followed through on her feelings and her intent at that time, there she would not. Froggy. And there would not be a mommy. Okay. Exactly. My kids would, would be without a mom. Exactly. Because of social media. Social media can be great, but it can also be your worst fucking nightmare. Be careful who the hell you connect with and do your damn duty diligence i tell this to people every fucking time you meet somebody they love you they care and everything else start going into live streams that you see them with and you can catch a lot of shit that you'd be like oh really oh you said oh really you said that something was at a certain thing and it was totally fucking opposite what you said on a stream and everything else that's tall tale sign is that they have multiple different things that they say on different type of channels just so that they fit in with a certain group or they fit in with a certain uh, conversation and everything else. Them are the type of people you have to be extremely, I mean extremely careful to be around because if they're saying opposite things of what they say and everything else on different streams and everything else, or they tell you, hey, I was here at this certain time and you know damn well that they're fucking lying and everything else, you have to go ahead well, how can you go ahead and then trust it when they tell you, hey, man, we brothers or we're sisters or we're right. family or whatever. They're lying right through their fucking teeth. Exactly. And if I, if I would actually dive my due diligence. Fuck, yeah, you got it. Due diligence. I got you. I got you. Uh, I would have known what they were like because not even <clears throat> two months before they moved up with me. And I was sending them money. They were telling their friends who were going to be homeless, you can stay here, but you got to pay half the rent, half the electricity, half the cable, half the food bill, half all the utilities. 
But they told them that they paid twelve hundred a month, so they were getting six hundred a month for rent through these people, and they got a room. Mm, mm, mm. They couldn't. It's, have, it's like you're gonna sit there and say that, but then I offer you a place to stay, free of rent. You didn't have no bills to fucking pay. They did pay like two hundred dollars three times. In six months, I think, they paid $200 three times. And that was mainly because at that point in time, once again, farming. You don't get a lot of money from farming. And they said they would pay half the internet if I increased my internet to a higher performance. Which mm -hmm. cost me $325 a month. For this internet and mm -hmm. cable and all this other stuff that they wanted. And it's like, I got maybe, I think, $450 out of them for six months. Well, that that's living off to me, the, the free of the land and everything else, because that, that is nothing and everything. That, that's damn people change. The but, people that were staying in my yard, using my water... Uh, they didn't pay shit. Mm. And then they moved out to a campsite because I had cops called on me. Mm. For having people live in my yard. Don't remind you, I live in town. So having tents popped up in the backyard. I ended up getting cops called on me. They moved out to a campsite. And they wanted to talk shit. But, uh, guess what? They were also the people that helped steal my shit. So... Like, so, literally, <clears throat> I remember exactly where I had a really nice camera bag with all of my equipment in it. I remember exactly where it was. Still to this day, Roy had these big, huge speakers. And it was on top of the speakers. Like, you could see the dust outline of my bag. And in between the people the one family moving into my house and the family in my yard moving out my bag came up missing it was a twelve hundred dollar camera mm, mm, mm. so you you've lost a lot a lot dealing with this and everything else but <clears throat> again i'm going to stress it over and over again if she would have had this video up to listen to somebody else doing and everything else she would have been like wow if that's not pertaining to what i'm seeing and everything else and this is to protect you guys to understand that there are tall tale signs that to know that would like i said see it's a little bit different because these are people that she allowed into her home and everything else and that's the scary part that's scary i guarantee you she will never allow that ever again i, you I can guarantee come you. visit but you must leave Exactly, exactly. Like you know, you hey. Get two, you get maybe a week of visiting, and then you must leave. Because after a week of me dealing with anybody else in my house, in my territory, in my room, because that's where you'd have to stay, is in my room because my dogs are assholes up front. Um, that really home, it drains me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now... Remember, when since we're talking about stalkers and everything else, again, a stalker will make their identity known to you, okay? Right. A troll will not make their identity known to you. They will fluctuate different names, different... They'll change many different names to go ahead and start trolling you and everything else if it's a bad troll and everything else. But again... Trolls are not necessarily a bad thing. Stalkers are always a bad thing. Never turns out right and everything else. If you got a stalker and everything else, especially on these social medias or whatever, one tall tale sign to anybody is that the individual will go ahead and go wherever you're at. Wherever you're at. You go live on one channel, another channel, another channel, another channel, and that person is right there 
like that. I mean, right away. They're already, hey, hey, lunatic dad, hey, lunatic dad. And they're everywhere, wherever they see my face pop up. That, be very careful with that. Do a little of investigation. Sometimes, sometimes, it could be just a fan of you. Right. Okay? And that is the difference, is that sometimes a fan will be like, look, you told me to subscribe to you. I like your content. I think you're funny as shit and everything else. So when I see you, I'm going to come in and say hi. Exactly. Okay? But when that stalker starts asking for, you know, hey, let me get your address. Let me get, you know, hey, can we meet somewhere? Can we, uh, you know. Dad, uh, I seen you at work today. Dad. Yeah. I, yeah. I yeah. see mom out and about. She was shopping. Are you guys yeah. having pork chops for supper tonight? Right, right. When it, when At it that point getting, in time, you're like, my I'm radar, moving. my radar goes whoop completely up. My <laughs> right. radar goes completely up when At you that point in time, I, it's all right. Time to move. Well, it wouldn't be time for moving me. It's time to get my fucking shotgun because we're already preloaded and then everything else just in case. Like right. I said, Lunatic Dad has made it virtually known to anybody. If he ever came to my home and knocked on my door or whatever and tried to do any type of harm to my family or my wife, I will not hesitate. And I'll blow your fucking head off, believe it or not, in a second. Because this old man will protect his wife, his children, and what he has with his own life. So, I'm if you're a stalker... You. Not I good have idea. five asshole dogs. Exactly. Exactly. So, all right, so we but covered... But now there the are people that are quiet stalkers. Explain do you know it. what a quiet stalker is, Dad? I have no fucking clue. Go ahead and explain a that quiet to quiet stalker is somebody that watches your page, and every time you upload, they'll sit there and refresh your page over and over again. And they learn everything about you. They know what shirt you're wearing, what clothes you wear, what. And then all of a sudden, you'll get things left on your porch without a note. Or you'll get roses on your porch without a note. You'll see pictures of you in your yard randomly show up places. Those oh. are the quiet stalkers that you definitely have to pay attention to. And one of the things that I've always been taught, because I had a trucker husband at one point in time in my life. Um, he made the comment one day because his brother was following me. Got that. Mm. He was following me back to the... We were both coming from someplace and he was following me home in a different oh. vehicle. But I didn't pay attention to the vehicle that was turning every direction I was going. And I get a call and he goes, where the fuck are you going? I go, I'm going home. Why? He goes, my brother's been following you for the last hour and a half. Haven't you noticed? I'm like, dude, I just came from my mom's house. And he goes, yeah, he just came from his baby mama's house, which literally 45 minutes, same direction. I got to go through his town to get to my house. And he goes, we've literally, he's literally been tailing you for the last 45 minutes. Why are you not paying attention? I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, he's not in his car. And I look back and he's in a different car. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. And he goes, so do you want to get kidnapped or killed? Come on, Tanya. Pay attention. Yeah, so well, now, exactly. I know if, if a car, like, okay, say I'm going from where I live to Greenville, or from Greenville to where I live. If I notice a car is turning down every turn I'm making, your best bet, I'm going to be turning into a police station too. Mm -hmm. And sitting there until you leave. And then I'm going to make a police report. Because your ass is considered stalking. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's important to make sure you hone in on wh who's behind you. Because as we are big, well, you're a big YouTuber. I'm a small YouTuber. You're, you're not a big, big YouTuber. 
There's a difference, Dad. We're talking, you're in the tens of thousands. Tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands is considered a big YouTuber to a lot of small YouTubers like me, okay? Millions is like the big, big, ooh, I'm famous, rich YouTuber, okay? So, but it doesn't matter because if you get, come across somebody who is that type of person that really likes your zen and your energy, you're going to attract people who can and will follow you, stalk you, and it's not going to be a good thing. No, no, no. And again, and the thing, and it kind of scares me what you said, only because my type of content is what? Fucking fast and furious, baby. That, exactly. you know, people see all that destruction and everything else. And when you got people constantly saying, I want to see more, I want to see more. Yeah, dad's radar goes up like a motherfucker because only for the fact is I'm like, you're enjoying me getting mad, destroying something. And if that gets your juices flowing, yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, you never know because lunatic mom is part of lunatic dad. If, again, it's important to pay attention to your whereabouts. And I know mom probably does, but you have daughters. Oh, yeah. You have, oh, yeah. You have sons. What's the easiest way to get to lunatic dad? Through my family, for sure. My kids exactly. and everything. Exactly. So, best to pay attention. And that's why, at one point in time, you see, anybody that watched my uh, Take a Ride With Me trip, you've seen these really big fenced-in areas. My house will be like Fort Knox. There will be barbed wire around the fence on the top. Plus my guard dogs. You ain't getting in my yard. You ain't getting in my house. Mm -hmm. Because I'm so paranoid of that because of my ex. Now, to coincide with that one, my ex used to say that there was snipers in the tree and if I lost my, left my house, I'd be shot dead. So, I mean, mm -hmm. at that point in time, you're like, That's an I abusive guess I'm man smoking right in the house, huh, bitch? <laughs> yeah, that 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 that's an abusive uh, situation there. Right. That would, you know, where you're basically captive in your own situation, home. Situation, but again, stalkers can chomp. Uh, um, if you any look at any of the serial killers or uh, stalkers, they have a charming persona most of the time. Like you really want to talk to them, get to know them, that type of stuff. But then there's also the quiet ones that are more quiet and they're planning and they're vindictive. And if you sure. cross them, they're going to do something. So you got two different ways. You got to look for the really charismatic ones and then you got to look for the quiet in the back ones. Yes, I, I, I agree 100% with you. I mean, like, like I said, I mean, I've had pizza sent to my home. I've had gifts sent to my home. And I'm like, well, I didn't give you my damn address and everything else. Uh, uh, the, I mean. Uh, uh, the pizza one you did. Yeah, I already that know. The, well, <laughs> I know that. But I'm saying I've had other pizzas sent to my home is what I'm saying and everything else. And that's what I mean is that you don't know who is watching even though you're with a bunch of people you trust and everything else, you don't know, like you said, the quiet ones and everything else. And even though we always make jokes about things and everything else, but I'm not going to change who I am right. or anything because of some demented fuck out there or whatever the case may be. Because, as I said, when it comes to my family, I'm not concerned about protecting it. Okay. Because it, your family can protect themselves. And they can. And trust me, my sons and everything else, trust me, they wouldn't allow a person to even come five foot to my fucking front door. If they knew something was going down, trust me, they're here in a second. Right. And, but not everybody has that, that luxury, let's put it that way, right. of having a, a lot of kids and everything else. Some, there's a lot of, and especially, guys, please, please heed this warning. There are a lot of people out there, and a troll will do this sometimes. 
and a bad troll, okay? They'll donate the shit out of you and everything else. Why? They're trying to gain your trust and your favor, okay? If you if you all of a sudden see someone coming into your chat, always donate in super chats and everything else, and you have no idea who the fuck they are and everything, and they, all of a sudden they started coming and everything else, and then they start asking you personal questions and everything, they're trying to gain intel on you right. and everything else. Because first, hey, if I donate five, six streams, $20, $15, $10, guess what? Hey, you must like me. You're giving me your money. No, that's pocket change to them. They're like, uh, yeah, wait till you see what I'm going to fucking really do and everything else. Like I said, stalkers and trolls, be careful. Hopefully that you guys have learned something in this segment and everything else. And the only thing I will tell you, look out for our future content and everything else. And like I said, Froggy, you know I love you, girl. And love to, you your too bad. to your trolls right there, to your stalkers right there. And Lunatic Dad ain't afraid of neither one of you motherfuckers. You can finish that shit off, girl. All right. We love you. We appreciate everyone coming in. I hope that you had a good time listening to this. Thank you for listening and understanding. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we hope you have a lovely day. Love you all. Bye.